we're almost professional. We Knives, Savivi, David from We Knives is going to talk to us about some of the new knives for 2020. So take it away, David. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll start with some of the knife that's already in production, such as this, the Lynchpin. You probably are already familiar with this. I had my hands on it earlier. I love that knife. That is A great. Full size CVV folder. You got the little decorative hole in the flipper there. Yeah. Really nice. The thumb hole, very, very ample space to put your thumb in there and give it a full control open. Oh, yeah. Or you can get a quick open with a flipper. Mightily quick and mightily powerful. Oh, it's it's a big knife. That's going to be nine inches overall at least. Well, seven or eight, I believe, at least. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, size doesn't matter. <laughs> I think it does all of a sudden. Yeah, that, that one is really nice. With the ambidextrous clip, you can carry this any way you want to. Yeah, right or left hand tip up. I mean, a tip up. Oh, deep right. carry, yeah. Yep. Deep carry tip. Right or left. Ah, tip that up. is. Man, that's a big dog. Okay. All right. The next one is the uh, the Rustic Gent. This Rustic Gent has been very popular since its inception, but this one is going to be upcoming in the market with a stainless Damascus steel. Ah. So that'll be a little different. Let me give see you if I can. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They give you a little flair to go with your your very classic uh, style and of course it will come with this full grain leather sheath with a clip i like that you can carry it either as just a knife in your pocket or you can clip this as you're used to and of course when you put it in your sheath the cv logo shows you yeah yeah i've got one no with nice. damascus though so <laughs> there you go there's always a chance to get a new yes, one yes there is the chronic a straight line gentleman's folder this one is a little different from the one that's already on the market because it is a front flipper yeah the one on the market is a it's a regular flipper and the other one just came out crisp the uh, i believe the crisp action for the front flipper and then you will have a damascus steel you will have also have the dp regular ones but you have a damascus version as well that's nice who's the designer joe Oh yeah, yeah, that is an in-house design. In -house he did design. great on that. I like that. Yeah. So you got an ambidextrous, a high ride. So you, I should call low ride, low ride clip. So those are disappear in your pocket. Very nice. All right, let's move that into that and the chronic. That's a regular flipper. Great. They're uh, both great. Both of them. Yeah. There's no extra mass on it. It won't stack on anything. Take it anywhere with you won't get a second look yeah yeah so let me move into some of the prototypes we have here this is the Odium and you can see the coming in multiple colors if you don't like the orange oh you yeah have, you have black uh, blue green tan and other colors and a gray I believe so this is the smaller brother of the malice by from forge in the Wii line uh, for the Odium it is a smaller brother in the CVV line we went through quite a bit of discussion on what to name the smaller, lesser malice. Is it an irritant? Is it <laughs> an itch you can't scratch? It's a bit of ennui. And I believe at one point it was supposed to be called the grudge. Hey, that's an idea. And eventually we settled on the odium because it may not be malicious, but it's quite a bit odious. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. I really like that knife. Yep. It's small. I think some people want to see Savivi make this knife in a larger size. Because that's under, that's what, 2.7 inch yes, blade? Yes, under the 3 inch yeah. uh, regular, regulatory lane so, that, so you can carry this in 50 states without any trouble. Yeah, but I mean, Savivi line doesn't have a ferrum forge knife other than that. And it would be nice to see that Not go. Not yet up not yet oh is there a hint well, no CVV is a experimental in many ways we have the freedom to expand in any direction okay so that you know you will see more designer knife in CVV so you know just I'll harp on Joe yet. it's like hey do it in sandvik steel with the micarta <laughs> scales 
and do 3.6 inch blade. That'd be good. There's always possibilities. Absolutely. All right. All right. Let's go on the next. Uh, this is the Minax. Minax is the firm forge in the wheel line. Oh, yeah. So if you want a bigger firm forge knife, here it is. Yeah, it's good looking too. And it's got all the all the stylus cues of the firm forge. So you know exactly what you're getting and it's a solid knife in your hand. Yeah. I wonder, it's almost like the same manufacturer that made the Pro Series. Almost. <laughs> what, what have you given that idea? I don't know. Just a premonition. <laughs> so, okay. yeah, that's a good looking knife. Does that, okay, that's right hand tip up. Yep. Backspacer's nice. And I like, you machined on both sides. Yes. So, gets a lot of symmetry. And they come in different finishes. Oh, really nice knife. A lot of geometric cues. I right. gotta have me one of them, that's for sure. This one is called the Angst. Which at one point was also considered to be the name for the now Odium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is by Justin Lundquist. The double flipper, well, they act as an integral guard when you open the knife. It is a single edge only, but it has a very, very thin bevel on the top to help it pierce through. Yeah. So it looks like an Italian stiletto. Very much so, but a very personal sized stiletto. Three inch blade. Uh, probably right around there, 2.8, 2.9. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So smaller, lighter, carbon fiber, G10. Well, can you flip the pocket yes, clip? Absolutely. Uh, the pocket clip is actually only one side. I thought you wanted, okay. I wanted right you to in. flip the knife. Sorry okay. about that. <laughs> I'm misunderstanding there. This is the Justin Lundquist OSS dagger. Yeah. I will tell you the truth that I always was very interested in the OSS style dagger uh, for that deep, deep hideout. But I've never seen a replicant that I want to carry, but this one you will love. Super thin with key 10 on the back and poking through the front give you plenty of grip on this thing, whether you use a thumb grip or actually try to hold it. Yeah. Right? It will come with a lanyard. Oh, do they? Yeah. It'll oh, help you pull okay. it out because it's a, it's a, Ow, I think I just poked myself. <laughs> it's bound Don't to happen. Do that. It's a shot show. To have you pull it out. And that's CPM 20 CV blade. 20 CV blade, indeed. So, so, this is why it's a Wii knife and not a CVV because 20 CV, a little bit more expensive to make, comes with a lanyard, comes with a sheath. Do you right. give me the change? The sheath is a multiple use sheath. So, you have a sheath. That comes with a neck chain. Okay. And the sheath will have a clip so you can put this in your pocket and hold it tight. Yeah, I saw that clip. Right. It's like a tech lock. Yes. One uh, that you can similar, rotate. Similar in principle. So uh, you can wear that on your belt if you want. Or a thin belt. A yeah. thin belt. Yeah. Because yeah. it is still a like pocket small clip. Yeah. When we take everything out, the cut actually is very thin with very big chain holes through it. So you can actually sew this into your clothes in your lapel to go back to the lapel dagger form of the OSS. That's nice. I like the neck, I like neck knives, certain neck knives, and that one I do like. Well, when you put it back in, don't put yourself like I did myself. Uh, no, that would be a bad thing. They come in different colors, right? One in black and one in orange. One in black, one in orange, okay. All right, uh, the next one I'll show you is the Root Kit by Todd Knives. So Terrence says, has brought on you another one, very distinctive pot knife design. You have a marbled carbon fiber in the front that give you a very unique weave pattern. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And this one I like very much because it's a little bit distinctive from their previous uh, Warncliff or Warn design. Yeah. So and this is more of a regular right yeah. of a curve. But it's still very, uh, very sharp on the front, so you can definitely do piercing and finer tasks with it. Of course, you get the jimping on the spine, top your grip, and this oval thumb hole to make sure you get it open. Oh yeah, full control. One piece titanium clip. It's a good size knife. It is. It is a full size knife for sure. And that's not a flipper. No, nope, that's it's a thumb hole opener. Right. 
Right. And you can use that fuller to finger flick as well. If you can get your finger in there. <laughs> I can usually. My, so. my finger is a little bit too fat for, for that, I believe. Okay. That's nice, though. I like the blade design. I like Todd Knife and Tool. They, they do some good stuff. And the ah. uh, Snex Design Lab. Yes. The Mini Buster. I, I always have a love affair with Warncliffe Blade. So whenever I see something that you can either call it sheep's food and call it Warncliffe, I love it. Or reverse canto if you really yeah, want yeah, to yeah, yeah. do it. Okay. I remember his knife. Well, he did a collaborative, I think, with Hobet. I believe the takedown. Hobet. And then uh, his first one, which was no screws or that any. One, yeah. That concept I like very much. As you can see, this one has a lot of the design cues. It does. Yeah. Even the backspacer has them. So aesthetically, I like this knife very much. Not to mention, it has one of my favorite blade shape, the Warren Club. It's it's one of the favorites I've seen on the table that are coming out for 2020. That's really a nice size. I love that design. It's just get a, a nice looking natural knife. Tie and the black antique finish yeah. that I like very much. Yeah, I see, I like that finish better, so I didn't let Dave bring the black in, but you can get this in the black. And it is just, it's just a beautiful knife. I, I love it. The mini buster, uh, it's, uh, yes, I like it a lot. All right. Our next two knives are from Ostapel. This is the Moat. Oh yeah. Yep. Just like its name, it's a very small knife, but still you can use this knife for big tasks yeah it fits in your hand it goes a high scene everywhere I, I i'm serious this knife will disappear and you won't even know it's there titanium handle lightweight full length clip frame lock yeah ostap hell he's doing some good he's stuff doing very good stuff knife yep. if you're looking for a 50 state legal knife under three inches you can't go wrong with the mode yeah, that's nice. The next two, it's the same variation of the same knife, the Pier by Ostap. I like those. Very much so. G10 or carbon fiber. Or carbon fiber. I think the big draw of this knife will be the fact that it, it is very streamlined profile. Yes. It, you put it in and it literally just, just disappears into whatever pocket or bag you put it into. Not to mention, if you get the carbon fiber one, this will go with any suit or formal dress. Won't be out of won't be out of a place in your boardroom meeting. No. And so it I mean it also feels so lightweight. Yes. But it's really a full size blade. Yep. But the open frame carry. That's gonna be what about super light? That's gonna be three and a half, three and a quarter to three and a half inch blade, right? Uh, I think it's about a three quarter at this point. Three and three quarter. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It just feels like it kind of looks to me like. Well, let's see. This is three and a half. Yeah, three and a quarter. Yeah, it's a yeah. It's it's full size knife. It's interesting. Questions, it's questions like these makes me wish I had my spec sheet on hand. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, I just wanted to get kind of a sense. It was no, like absolutely. sub three inch, but it's not. It, oh, it's definitely a good not size sub three knife. inch. It's a good size knife. Yeah. Okay. All right. And last, but absolutely not least, no, is the Ben Peterson, the banter. I I'm usually not a big fan of small knives, even though I have. Rather, relatively small hands uh, because I always feel they're going to slip out of my hand my grip but with Ben's design it's a very wide frame so when you put it in your hand it fills all the crevices and you know you're holding it very securely with a thumb stud opening this one uses ball, uh, cage ball bearing so you can flick it open super easy with a super super high clip you can definitely hide this thing. Oh deep, yeah, it deep, disappears deep carry. in there, doesn't it? Okay. Deep, deep carry. And of course, what is up, guys? Yeah. That logo, and it will have banter on the clip as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
So if you're a fan of the plate banter and the Ben Peterson, this is a knife for you. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah it, I really like it. I, I had the blue one out there. Blue with the, with the satin blade or maybe stonewash right. blade. There'll be two different, uh, two different plate finishes and at least two different colors. Yeah, I like the blue. I'm going to have to get me the blue. And that really does. It's just such a practical knife. Reminds me a little bit of the simplicity of Laconico. Absolutely. And and though I know it's not like crazy styling, that's kind of the charm of this knife is that it's not. But wow, on those bearings, it's it's just yes, it's nice. What do you think? I think we have a very good 2020 coming up with a lot of exciting designs. And this is only a small part of it. Oh, so I know. Every month, we'll be bringing you some new revelations of what's coming this month. Uh, some of you you'll see here, and some may have some slight changes, but we always hope that's because we're making it better. Absolutely. Hey, that, thanks for your time, David. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. And yes, this is just a small sampling of what's out there that's new for 2020. It's insane. The Civivi releases. And, uh, and the Wii knife releases that are coming out. So many other knives. Hand me that Roman real quick, and I'm just gonna throw it up. And uh, this is a tribute to Kurt, who asked me about Alessandra. And we didn't have the Hecate here, but we do have the Roman. So here we go. And yes, this is very interesting. Hey, Wii knives is willing to step out and do something very different and unique. Thank you so much. Thank you.